Alright, this is it, KJ4FGI. Um, this is the ammo can, 2 meter 440, I did a YouTube video on that I built. And uh, you can see the video, I'll show you all about it. Now a lot of people are concerned, what about the antenna mounted directly to the can? Nothing to worry about. Alright, we have, uh, here's the SWR, we're on uh, 2 meter. Try to get that in there where you can see it without a reflection. 1.0. Okay, 1.0. You can't beat that. And that's better than any 2 meter 440 antenna that'll, at, at your home that you'll get. And uh, let's go to 70 centimeter. One point two. One point two at 70 centimeters. Okay, so it's actually very good to put it on a box. Let's, what about power output? Okay, here's your power. We're on 70 centimeters. 30 watts of power. Now, that don't remind you, this is a Biano battery I have in there, so the voltage doesn't really drop. Um, it's not like a, a small steel lead acid battery. It's a LiPo 4. Um, I now on that YouTube video I did of this box, it'll uh, give you the, the link to it. There you go. 30 watts of power. Now let's go to the 2 meter. 54 watts of power output on a 2 meter. Can't beat that. 54 watts, okay? So this is working excellent. You shouldn't be doing 50 watts of power out because you're going to roast your brain this close. Now what I wanted to show you was I read an article in a QST magazine. Let me get this camera on a tripod. It's September. It's September's magazine. And uh, page 85. It's going to show you about it's going to tell you about the TGE super booster he got the super booster I just got the regular booster super booster comes um, I believe it comes with uh, it definitely comes with a fan I think it comes with an alarm it's a little piso tweeze uh, that you can uh, hook up to that that's actually hooked up to it now if you buy the regular booster like I did uh, Tim has the uh, the piso that you can buy from him with the instructions on how to wire it up into uh, into this booster regulator and it's really easy now um, I took a look at it um, okay so here you go here it is yeah we got the camera on it this is your N8XJK boost regulator it has full-time regulation or you can bypass it go straight to the battery and then it has RF enabled where you would hook up a T fitting to your antenna to the coax and it'll handle up to 100 watts of power. Don't put any more than 100 watts in there. It's no good. Uh, you'll probably blow this unit and could damage your radio. So it's limited to 100 watts of power. It has a low battery indicator and the green light lets you know when it's ena enabled. Um, you have a voltage adjustment to adjust your voltage, your output voltage. And you have a delay adjustment to uh, delay the unit when you're transmitting. Uh, okay, let's see how it works. Now I have two voltmeters. I'm using a KX3 with a KXPA100. This is an ammo can. This is a plastic ammo can. It's a 12 volt, 35 amp hour battery. I got my accessories. All, uh, Accessories in here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's got on the camera. I got a light, a couple of cables, and um, it's wired up. Now it's got binding posts. It's got uh, two sets of uh, power poles. Also has a cigarette lighter, and it has a uh, circuit breaker. 
You have a switch that turns this meter on and off. And this right here is for charge. This goes directly to the battery. It doesn't feed through any of this. This is for charging. And you could hook up your solar panels to this, or you could hook up, uh, you know, your, your charger for that if you have an AC voltage. Now, this is without the uh, TGE. So we're resting right now 12.9 volts, half an amp draw. I have it set to 100 watts. Now it's only putting out 78 watts, 77 watts of power, and a battery dropped down to 11.65 right here at the uh, amplifier. Do it one more time. 11.5. It's only putting out now 75 watts of power. Now let's plug in the um, TGE. Let's power in. Let's power out. Let's see. Now, as you can see, the green light's on. That means I have it set up properly. Uh, the green light won't come on if you have the, uh, the connections backwards. Okay, its resting voltage right here at the amp is 14 volts. And it's 13 coming out of the battery. Let's see if we can get this to stay up there. Okay. Transmit. Yeah, what did I do wrong here? This always happens on every video. Now that's why the amp's not on. It must turn itself off. All right, amp is on. That's right, because I, I changed power over here. All right, let's put it up to 100 watts again. Okay. Damn, I'm gonna stay up there now. Okay. Got it, got it. 14.06 coming out of the TGE. A oh, booster, 12.9 in a battery. Hit transmit. 100 watts of power out. 13.13 coming out of the TGE. 11.9 out of the battery. But I'm putting down my 100 watts of power. So there you have it. Any uh, Tim has been getting. He has gotten very busy uh, after this article came out in QST. Uh, he's gotten really busy. It took me two weeks to get this. Uh, they build them, and uh, he's been swamped with orders. And uh, it's a good thing. You know why? Everybody's everybody wants one. Everybody that's got a go kit uh, definitely wants to put out that 100 watts of power uh, if they're in an emergency situation. Or not only that, but uh, when the battery goes down to nine volts, um, it'll continue with your 13 volts of power. Well, if you got a go kit, you should definitely get this because a lot of radios shut off once you hit, uh, you know, like 11 volts. The battery hits 11 volts or 10.5 volts, whatever. Your radio shut right off, and uh, you won't transmit. But this will, this unit right here will let you continue on. So you really can't beat it. It's well worth it. Uh, it's tough, solid case. Uh, the uh, boost regulator. 
Uh, this one right here is a regular boost regulator. Uh, the, they have a super boost, which I believe comes with a piezo in case the, it lets you know when your battery is down on voltage and uh, getting too low, like 9 volts or whatever. Uh, I guess uh, whatever you have it set to. And uh, it also comes with a fan. You know, fan's a good idea. But uh, I tried to change the order and get the fan, but I already had it in. They had already shipped it. Um, you can put the piso in a little bit later, the battery alarm, if you get this right here. Tim sells it for $20. Uh, all it, it's the, uh, the piso and how to wire it up. And wiring it up, it's like really easy to snap. You just attach it to two pins inside the, uh, inside the box here. So uh, that's about it. You see the way it works? You see the power output, it holds, even though you have low battery. And you can read about it, page 85, QST. All right, thanks for watching. This is KJ4FGI. I'll be clear.